Good morning, colleagues. Um, it's great to be able to have the chance to talk to you, even if it's by video link. Uh, forgive me for not being with you, but the world of aviation conspired against me last night and I couldn't make it to Rome for today. My name is Lawrence Haddad. I'm the Executive Director of the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, or GAIN. Uh, I'm very sad not to be there today because we're trying to do three really important things um, in this next hour and three quarters. The first thing is to really acknowledge the leadership that uh, Dr. Graziano de Silva has shown over the last eight or nine years as the Director General of FAO. Um, more, more about that later on. The second thing we're trying to do is to really reflect on the progress we've made. And there, there, have been, there has been progress. I mean, um, <clears throat> stunting rates have come down much more rapidly than we thought they would, actually, in many big countries, Bangladesh, uh, Indonesia, even in India. Um, we're working in a multi-stakeholder way more and more. We're beginning to understand that food systems are really central to nutrition, to climate, to livelihoods, and to biodiversity. Um, but the third thing, there are still many things, many challenges to go and what are we going to do about them? What are we going to do about wasting rates that are pretty static? Uh, anemia rates in women, again, very static. And obesity and overweight rates, which are rising rapidly in every country. So my good friend David Nabarro will chair a, a really interesting panel um, of, of really great experts that we've lined up for you. And there will be a Q&A session, hopefully, with the, with the audience. You'll get a chance to put some of your questions to the panel. So these are the three things I think we're, we're trying to achieve today. I wanted to say a personal thing <clears throat> about Dr. Dr. Graziano, my friend Jose, because, as you know, many of you may know, I'm, a, I'm an avid blogger. And back in 2010, before the announcement of who was going to be the next Director General at FAO, I wrote a blog that said, here are five tests that the next Director General needs to satisfy. And I went back and had a look at that blog. And I, I said, you know, did, did uh, Dr. Graziano de Silva, did he, has he passed these five tests? Um, so the first test was, does the, does the successful candidate have a demonstrable track record in reducing hunger and malnutrition? And so clearly from Dr. Graziano's experience as an extraordinary minister uh, for food security in Brazil uh, for about six years before he joined FAO, clearly, uh, clearly he does. Um, the hunger rate in Brazil went from 10% to 2% on his watch. So that's that's a fantastic achievement and um, one that I know he brought with him uh, in the way he, he thinks and acts um, and influences to, to FAO. The second test, so that's a check for the first test. The second test was the incoming candidate needs to think hard about agriculture. They need to think, they need to realize that agriculture is, the main purpose of agriculture is to reduce hunger. It's not just to produce food, it's to reduce hunger. And that secondly, agriculture on its own can't do it. It can't do it on its own. It needs many more things to reduce hunger. And I think the Director General has well realized this and you know his very own uh, zero hunger strategy which has been adopted by many of us around the world is a, is a testament to that there's a there's a sort of a focus on treating the, the symptoms of of hunger and malnutrition not enough, not enough income in the short run through uh, cash transfers and social protection for example but also the fundamental restructuring of food systems that is needed to incentivize different actors in the food systems to make sure that nutritious food is more available, affordable, and desirable. So I would say check to the second uh, criteria. The third criteria was this, the, new, the incoming DG needs to build alliances, needs to build coalitions. Uh, in No one organization can do this. It's too big for any government. It's too big for any donor. It's too big for any UN agency. It's too big um, for any civil society grouping. Um, we need alliances and coalitions. And I think uh, Dr. Graziano de Silva has done a, a fantastic job of building alliances uh, within, uh, within FAO and across uh, a whole range of players. I noted alliances with the International Rescue Committee, with Google, with Rabobank. Um, 
And, uh, you know, these have been really impressive. And I think the recently released SOFI report is a really good example of bringing together the, together the five UN agencies that are primarily concerned with hunger reduction. When I was, <clears throat> when I was a young man, it was just FAO. And now it's five organizations. And I think it, the report is so much more powerful for it. So check on number three, alliances. Number four was hold yourself and hold FAO uh, and hold the community to account. And hold, hold yourself and the FAO and, and the community accountable. And again, I think um, really fantastic achievements here. The Food Insecurity Experience Scale, uh, FIES, is a fantastic introduction to the world of metrics for hunger reduction. It gives us individual level data. It gives us uh, a sense of uh, experience. It's not just the, 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 um, the calories consumed uh, and available. It's actually how do people feel? How do they feel? And surely this is the essence of food insecurity. It's how people feel, how secure they feel about the food they have available. I also note the uh, big drive towards decentralization, which is another way of making FAO more accountable to the people it's ultimately trying to serve and, and support. Um, and I also note that in during uh, Dr. Graziano's re-election in 2015, he got more votes than I think any other director general has gotten in any uh, FAO director general election. So clearly doing a great job on holding FAO accountable, himself accountable, and the world hunger community accountable. And I think the final, so check on number four. Number five, and the final one, is is this is the incoming director going to be able to and be willing to speak out against uh, the outrage, the obscenity of hunger in this world of plenty today? Uh, and again, I think um, Dr. Graziano has passed with flying colors here. He, I'm really, I'm really interested in his, um, his alliance with the um, uh, Nobel, Par Nobel, Prize, Nobel Peace Prize winners. I think that's a really interesting way of linking the worlds of justice, which ultimately hunger is all about injustice um, and peace and, and speaking out. These Nobel Peace Prize winners are such powerful advocates. People listen to them. I think it's a a genius idea to, to link hunger issues to their cause because after all um, conflict generates hunger and an absence of hunger prevents conflict so um, and also I've heard many times Dr. Graziano speak out and says uh, say that the private sector has to be a big part of the solution in the food system for nutrition space yes it's a big part of the problem but it also has to be a big part of the solution and that's not always easy to do so dr graziano for what it's worth you have passed with flying colors the haddad five-step test for being director general of FAO. Um, i think these five tests hold equally for your uh, for your successor and uh, I, I i for one will be holding uh, him uh, accountable for exceeding these five steps and uh, doing an even better job than you have if that's if that's at all possible I'm so sorry I won't be there to see you today my friend Jose uh, it's been a real pleasure working with you while you're a director general of FAO and I look forward to working with you in the future goodbye